Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chong here and I post travel, fashion, and lifestyle vlogs. And if you didn't know, Lululemon is one of my favorite brands. I have a few other videos on my channel talking about some of the other pieces that I own. But in today's video, I thought with summer coming up, it'd be a good idea to talk about the shorts in my wardrobe. And in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down a few different things. We're gonna talk about some of the more popular models, the pace breaker and the surge shorts. We're also gonna be talking about different lengths of shorts, the five inches, six inches, and seven inches. And then we're also gonna be talking about the liner versus the liner list. So definitely a lot of information in this video. So hopefully this is an informed video for you guys and you'll be able to determine if you want to buy a pair of Lululemon shorts or not and then if so you'll be able to decide what model and what length and etc etc but without further ado let's dive right into the video so just a quick sneak peek these are all the shorts we're gonna be covering in the video I have four different pairs of shorts we're gonna go over from least to most favorite but anyways let's first talk about the surge short so these shorts right here are the six inch model. They have a liner. So these shorts are 86% polyester, 14% elastane, and then the liner is 82% polyester and 18% elastane. These shorts in particular are in a heather black colorway. They retail for $68. If I were to describe these shorts in a sentence or two, it would be these are the most comfortable pair of shorts that I own. However, the least functional. These shorts don't have side pockets. They do have a place where you can put your phone on the inside of your right leg in the liner. And also they have a secure back pocket. However, it's not big enough to fit your phone. So it could fit like a card holder or some keys or something like that. However, it is kind of hard or inconvenient to keep reaching into that back pocket. So quite frankly, I very rarely use that. There's also on the back a loop where you can hang your shirt. But then again, I don't really use that as well just because, you know, I don't really run shirtless. So I don't really have much use for that. But all in all, these shorts are very nice. I love the way they look. They're super stretchy, super lightweight super comfortable on the back. There is some mesh to help with breathability. And also too, there are some nice design features. Like there are some reflective hints on the bottom. The Lululemon branding is on the back left corner. Very subtle, very low key, what I like. I also like that these shorts aren't just your standard black colorway. There is a heathering to make it a bit more interesting. And then also too, I do like the drawstrings on the shorts. So you know how most shorts kind of at the end, the aglets are just exposed cords. Well, these ones look very nice. I just think that these are super high quality. And all in all, these are a very nice pair of shorts to have. But like I mentioned before, they aren't very functional for what I would use them for. So I honestly just use these as sleep shorts, but that's fine by me because these are so darn comfortable. This right here is the seven inch pace breaker. These are lined and this is the wild mint colorway. And just like the surge shorts, these are 86% poly, 14% elastane, and then the liner is 82% poly, 18% elastane. Now, these shorts are such a beautiful color and that's why I initially got these. And just like the surge, you know, super stretchable, super lightweight. However, you know, comparing, I guess the two, the surges definitely feel a lot more thin. They're definitely lighter, but it's very minuscule guys. And what I like about the back here is, you know, you can see there is a little mesh design. So, you know, I do like how Lululemon, you know, has like very basic kind of shorts, but there are just little design features that make it seem like attention to detail was very looked at. And similar on the back left, there is the Lululemon logo. Now, what I do like about these shorts is that they do have side pockets and they do have a zipper pocket on the side. However, I don't really use that to be honest, just because you don't really hold much just your keys and stuff like that. So I quite frankly just put it in the main pocket. Now, one thing that I wish I could change about these is if they had a zipper on one of the main pockets, just because, you know, things do fall out of, you know, gym shorts, uh, just because the pockets aren't as secure. It would have been nice to have a zipper, just like how my surge pants have a zipper on the side. I really love that feature, just because, you know, I've had multiple times where I've been sitting down, kind of lounging and just reclining a tiny bit, and then I get up and then something just slides out of my pocket. So having a zipper would definitely be nice, but, all in all, these shorts are super nice. I really love them. And then also too, these shorts have a very nice drawstring as well. All in all, these shorts are very nice. And actually one thing that's different between the pace breaker and the surge is 
On the pace breaker, the very bottom, you can see that it's a straight cut, whereas on the side of the surge, it's a there's like a little cutaway, just a little small design difference. So I don't know which one you'd prefer, and I guess to be honest, I'm a bit indifferent, but that's just something to point out. But yeah, all in all, these shorts are really good, and I love them. Okay, so next we have another pace breaker. These are in five inch, however, they don't have a liner, so these are linerless, and this is the copper brown colorway. Now these shorts, similar as all the other shorts, 86% poly, 14% elastane, five inches, back similar has a mesh design, logo on the back left. So just gonna keep this one very short just because this one is the exact same as the last short, except for it's a bit shorter and also it doesn't have a liner. So now let's talk about my favorite short. So this is the five inch pace breaker with a liner. Now similar retails for $68, 86% polyester, 14% elastane. Now, obviously why I think this is my favorite pair of shorts is I do like the liner. I just think it's very comfortable and also too with the shorter shorts, it's nice to have just another layer there just in case your shorts kind of ride up a bit, just offers a bit more security. So that's why I prefer the liner over the linerless. You know, obviously my first impression of the liner was like, wow, this is like, might be getting a bit tighter constrictive, but you definitely do get used to having a liner on your shorts, or at least me. I actually do like the feel of the liner, but I guess like if you never had them before, then definitely try them on first. But I guarantee you that once you have the liner, you won't want to go back just because, yeah, it is so comfortable. Why I prefer shorter shorts is just due to proportions, just because, you know, I know I am a skinny guy, but you know, having shorts that are down to your knees definitely gives the illusion that you are even more skinny than what you actually are. And then also too, wearing shorter shorts just gives the illusion of being taller. So all in all, that's why I prefer wearing shorter shorts. I know maybe some people aren't as comfortable wearing shorter shorts. However, I do think the seven inch is still a good length, but I would caution if you guys would want to wear nine inches just because those are getting a bit longer, but you know, do whatever makes you feel comfortable. That's just my two cents on the length of the shorts. So to sum up my collection, I love all the shorts that I have. And if I could just pick one, I would pick the five inch liner, but I know Lululemon has a bunch of different colorways for the different models and for the liner versus liner list and for the length of shorts so you might be fixated on a certain color but if you do get a colorway that's in a longer short you can take it to lululemon and they will hem it for you so i did have the option if i wanted to take those wild mint seven inch to a five inch but i thought like what not i'll just keep one as a seven inch but there is the option and the flexibility if you don't see you know a particular length that you want but you like the colorway but you can go and change that if you want and i just want to say i do really love these shorts i love the versatility that they bring you know, you can wear them in the gym, but I also find that they're stylish enough to wear casually as athleisure. They definitely look like a good pair of shorts. And so I can't complain about the fit and how they feel. And I just want to wear them all the time. So I definitely recommend you guys getting a pair of these shorts. Now, I do realize that these shorts are more pricey than, you know, the typical Nike or Adidas kind of shorts. But guys, I want you to know that you can get deals. Go onto Lululemon's website. There is a We Made Too Much sale and you can get shorts at a discount. So I've actually done that for a couple of the shorts and you can see the shorts that I got aren't even that bad colorways. I've got them for $40 but you know you can get them for even cheaper depending on whatever colorways or I guess if they have extra stock of a certain thing and they need to get rid of it so you definitely can find deals for shorts you just have to be on the lookout for that anyways though I hope you enjoyed my video breaking down all the lululemon shorts in my closet I'm gonna be actually making another lululemon video after I go to the store later today I got some more shorts coming in I got the commission shorts so I'm gonna do a video on those but anyways hopefully you enjoyed the video smash the like button subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace I'm a rock star.